the small corner of the world we call home. There is no better place for tulips, tourists, and treks. Mount Vernon, Washington, in the Pacific Northwest region of the United States of America, is nestled at the foothills of the Cascade Mountain Range and sits at the gateway to the San Juan Islands and Puget Sound. We sport hundreds of acres of blooming tulips each spring, which vie with nesting bald eagles, migrating trumpeter swans, and the occasional glimpse of an orca whale pod for the visitor's attention. Operating a quarter of a century, the Skagit Valley Tulip Festival has grown into a premier destination event. Each year we are proud to welcome people from around the world to share the spectacular beauty of Skagit County. In the 1920s, Dutch settlers to the area saw something more, a place where bulb crops would thrive, planting and selling daffodils and tulips. Well, my dad uh, was a member of a bulb growing family. His, his parents and grandparents, great grandparents grew bulbs in, in Holland for over 200 years. You know, when you're a grower, uh, it's, it's, it's like when you're an artist or a musician, a musician or anything, you know, you have a feel for things. And, and he was a grower, he had a feel for it. He came into the area, he saw the soil, he saw the maritime climate, um, you know, the, the, the amount of rain we get. Uh, you, you know, you, you mix all that into one and you, and you compare back to his homeland, Holland, and you saw those, those nice maritime winds that buffered the, the, the cold winter. And, and they also buffered the warm spring and summer. And, uh, and we got the right amount of rainfall at the right times, and, and, and it worked. He could see, he could see that this was the, the climate for growing tulips, iris, and daffodils. We currently have two bulb growers in Skagit County. The largest one, and they're one of the largest growers in the world, is Washington Bulb Company, and they're run by the Rusin family. Leo Rusin is the president of the company, and it's a family-owned company, and they farm the acres and acres of tulips. Um, the other family that's involved in bulb farming is the Degote family, um, Jeanette and Tom Degote, and they own Tulip Town. And Tulip Town is a little bit different in that it's a town that is created every April that is built around about 14 or 15 acres of tulips in full bloom. And they plant their tulips in rainbow stripes, and so people can come in and they see um, wonderful color and an indoor display of tulips. So we have a wide variety of things for everybody to see. Each year, the Valley welcomes over 300,000 visitors to enjoy the majestic sight of massive fields of tulips in bloom. Our festival has grown over the past 25 years, from one weekend and five activities to the entire month of April and over 40 events and activities kids can go and uh, participate in the topping of the tulips, which happens towards the end of the festival anyway. And then the tops of the tulips are thrown away so that the bulbs can be harvested, but in this case the kids get to put a lot of the tulip tops to good use. There's thousands of acres of um, tulips out in the tulip fields, and we just take a you know tiny, tiny percentage of that, probably less than 1%, but it's still kind of an exciting way to put the bulbs to you, or put the flowers to use and uh, before the bulbs go to harvest. One of my other favorite events of the Tulip Festival is the street fair, which this year is the 22nd annual street fair. The Tulip Festival has been along, around longer than that, but the street fair involves my high school kids too because they volunteer with the Tulip Festival coordinators and they work at the booths and welcome the tourists and represent Mount Vernon High School's finest kids, so that always makes me proud to be part of the high school and to see my kids working down at the, at the street fair. 